Okay, today we're going to talk about Blinkist. I've done a lot of videos about Blinkist. I've done a recent review. Why? Because a lot of information uh, changed since I did the video last time. And also uh, my perspectives and thoughts on why Blinkist is better than most other uh, book summary apps. That's also changed a bit. But before we jump into Blinkist, maybe you don't know what it is. So I'm going to maybe quickly recap what is a book summary app and why would you need one? So book summary apps basically take a book, condense the key ideas into a 15, 20, 30 minute or sometimes 40 minute summaries, both text and audio. Most of the apps provide both. So why do you need that? One, with the current social media addiction and the doom scrolling that we all go through, I think we need something to replace it. And you may have heard that you cannot replace one habit with a vacuum. You need to replace one habit with another. So you need a new habit to replace this social media addiction that we all seem to have now. So Book Summary app is, in my view, a great replacement for uh, de-addicting from social media. And Book Summary app, it removes a fluff. So, I mean, I've read books where they go through pages and pages and pages of examples and just elaborating on their point where it's really a simple point that they could make in half or one page. So this is where book summary apps are really good. They cut the fluff out and they just give you the uh, content without, you know, all the fluff around it. And for me, the second one is it also in a way gamifies, uh, it gamifies and it, it tailors the learning experience for you. So if you like nonfiction, if you like a certain type of books, it kind of the AI, of course, tries to understand what you like and what you're more likely to listen to and read. And it gives you something that's in a way tailored to yourself. And in a way, it also gamifies learning a bit. So where it's easier to do, you tend to do more of it, which is why if you look at social media, the the the, the scroll down is in a way just in a way it's if, if you watch the Netflix documentary, it just explains that the easier it is for you, the easier it is to get addicted, then you do more of it, which is why there's always a scroll down on social media, not scroll up or scroll side or anything else. So in a way, the combination of uh, making it personal for you and gamifying it also helps you learn a little more from books. And if you, if you have a busy life, then you don't want to really commit to reading a 500 page book or a 200 page book. You want to save time. So book summary apps, of course, removing fluff and uh, allowing you to, let's say, sp spend 15 minutes to read a book or listen to a book. It just saves time. And and I, I do have to caution you. Book summary apps are not a replacement for reading. They aren't replacing entire books. They, they serve an entirely different purpose to reading. So with book summary apps, you want to really just understand if this book is for you. You understand the, uh, the key insights from the book. And if you like it, you invest on the actual book because it's not just money. It's uh, audiobook on Audible is anywhere between, let's say, 30 to sometimes even $40. Whereas listening to a summary on an app like Blinkist in a way is free because you get the, the entire library for free with one subscription. So it does save time. It does save money. Uh, it does that and if you had the only op if the only option you had is to read entire book all the time or just buy all of them or even if you have a library subscription you could you could of course borrow books but imagine how much investment of time this is and this is what you can uh, you can get away if you use book summary apps you can listen to a quick 15 minute summary you can decide if it's not the right one for you, you can go to another topic, suddenly, you know, you, you feel like you have to go on self-help niche, you want to go on business, you want to go on technology or whatever. I mean, it just allows you to explore multiple niches at the, at the, let's say, expense of 15 minutes a title each. I mean, it, it it's not very hard. If you want to read a biography, if you want to understand how cryptocurrency works or if you want to understand why nations fail or if you want to understand the humanities history like all of this is a 15 minute version you can just jump from one topic to another if you like it or you could say i would like to understand deep time uh, deep you know on how blockchain works you could do that you can find four different books that explain that so 
it allows you to just move faster on the topic or if you want to explore multiple topics you can also do that and i said you you save money i i i bought some books that i have come to regret uh, not that they were bad it's just that they were not good enough for me so i bought a uh, midnight library from matt and halfway through the book i just put it down i couldn't take it anymore so i wish on the hindsight i'd read the summary i would have probably made a decision not to push through because one it wasn't the message i was looking for i thought that this was going to be an interesting book about that that you know it, it's a perspective changing book that's what i go for when i go for books for example sapiens did that to me midnight library didn't and if i had listened to a summary i wouldn't have invested on the book and i probably would have said a couple of trees as well or at least a few tricks so this is what book summary apps do to you but why blinkist i mean there's i would say a million a few out there each of them ha- come with their own unique propositions so here i put some top competitors headway it's affordable it's got a decent title collection it's got 1500 titles uh, get abstract is like the porsche ferrari of of book summary apps it's got 25000 titles but it's a bit expensive so headway is about seven dollars a month uh, get abstract is about 25 dollars a month when you pay annually story short is somewhere between it's not very expensive but it doesn't got a huge summary it's 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 fine zoom uh zoom is yet it's focusing only on the audio formats and it's pretty affordable it's probably one of the cheapest at four or five dollars a month short form uh, it kind of uh, sits between reading a book and listening to a summary. So on the typical book summary apps, you get uh, summaries that are 15, 12 minutes long, whereas with short form, it kind of tends to be 30, 40, 50 minutes. So it does a little more justice to the content. It 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 uh, takes its own time to explain what's in the book. Again, if that's your thing, that's an option. The pricing is a bit expensive from for the library it's got i think it's got 1500 titles and it costs around 15 to 20 dollars a month so when you compare all that blinkist just stands out so let's just maybe do a quick one-to-one comparison blinkist versus headway blinkist got uh 6500 titles costs around seven dollars a month eight dollars a month and you can actually share it with somebody so in a way it costs only four dollars a month 6500 uh titles great quality summaries for four dollars a month you know what wins with get abstract if you can afford 25 dollars get abstract is a better option and if you're a student get abstract is probably your only option because you get a free version with 5000 titles so if you can offer 25 dollars a month 30 dollars a month get abstract is a clear winner blinkist is the second best with story shots if you look at the the summary quality and the collection type uh, the title collection size Blinkist obviously is a better choice. Story Shots is a slightly more affordable option than uh, than Blinkist, but again, if you I don't know if you would want to make such a big. Uh, I mean, it's not. It's maybe one two dollars a month. It's not big enough for me to compare them. Blinkist is a clear winner by long distance due to its quality and the title collection. So, is yet if you are only going to read PDFs or if you're only going to read and not listen. And if you really want the absolutely cheapest option, then some is it is a good option. But again, two, three dollars a month, I think Blinkist gives you a lot more. With short form, in a way, this is really not a comparison. Do you want 15, 20 minute summaries or do you want a 45 minute one hour summaries? If you like long summaries, then short form is the option for you. But I, I do have to remind it costs 15, 20 dollars a month. Whereas Blinkist costs seven dollars, eight dollars a month, gives you four times more title collection. Uh, short form has fifteen hundred. Blinkist has uh, around six thousand, and they keep adding somewhere between fifty to seventy uh, a month. So I would think Blinkist stands tall by a long distance compared to all of these. Uh, so quick comparison between Blinkist and Headway, which is the top. So in terms of titles, Blinkist has got 6,500 plus, Headway's got 1,500 plus. The pricing, you can see it's $8 a month roughly on Headway, Very sorry, with Blinkist. And you can actually share these with uh, one more person. So it, you know, it, it cuts that into half. 
head raise around seven dollars a month when you pay annually but uh, if you pay monthly they cost about the same uh, around fifteen dollars a month the book call uh, the the summary qualities on blinkist is in in my opinion uh, slightly better they use clever music cleverly through the audio narrations and in a way you you also feel like you actually listen to a human being when you listen to something on Blinkist, you can see who is narrating it and you can actually see it's a human. The ebbs and flows and uh, where they actually stop, give you a pause to think about what they've just said. I think this is just brilliant with Blinkist. Edway, in my view, is a little bit robotic. You want to be hooked on to something, right? I mean, if you want to de-addict from TikTok and Instagram, you need a little bit of dopamine coming. So I think Blinkist does that better. Uh, if you want to compare Get Abstract, which in my view, if you can afford get a, get abstract, it's a better choice. The, the clear uh, differentiation between Blinkist and get abstract is, is the price point. And get abstract usually focuses on the enterprise <clears throat> uh, customers, not on the individuals. That, uh, my friends, is about book summary apps for today. And I hope to find you in another video real soon. And before you leave, don't forget, trying them all is free. I put the... Uh, trial links in the description below and you can also read detailed reviews if that's what you would like and uh, you can also subscribe to my channel where I go through a number of productivity apps uh, you know things that you probably haven't even heard about in terms of how you could get more out of your time so subscribe in the links below